We are the Pennsylvania Manufacturers Association. We are the Pennsylvania Manufacturers Association. Business in Pennsylvania. And business in Pennsylvania is our business. Talk to me about um, your childhood and school years. Let's start with your family. Tell sure, me about your parents. Sure. Well, I grew up in the little town in central Pennsylvania, uh, Schuylkill County, Pine Grove, mm -hmm. uh, about population then, about 2,500 people. And um, I was the oldest of uh, four daughters. Um, my parents, in you know, some sort of, I don't know, sadistic moment, named us uh, Susan, Sally, Sarah, Sandy. And um, whenever we would get in trouble, they'd have to go through the whole uh, list of names in order to pull out the correct one. But uh, I was the oldest. Um, my dad was a town dentist. And uh, he's an interesting character. He didn't talk too much. He, he passed away a couple of years ago. He was almost 91. And he was one of those greatest generation mm -hmm. who went off to war. Uh, he was a pilot in World War II. Uh, flew the Burma Hump, which was one of the most dangerous missions, yeah. and uh, and came back, um, used his the uh, GI Bill to uh, go to dental school, and um, then got drafted again into the Korean War, and as a dentist though this time, and then when he finished, he came back to his hometown. Uh, he grew up in Central Pennsylvania. He was drafted and into the Korean War. Because yeah. He, so he was, must have been pretty young then in World War II to still be yeah he was draft he, age in yeah Korea. he he um, signed up. I'm I'm not sure. You know, there's some question whether he lied about his age when he signed up. <laughs> he, a uh, lot of people for did. World War II. Because yeah. it was a call to service, yeah. and, and people heard that call. Exactly, sure. exactly. And um, But then, yes, he was drafted a second time. He was still el eligible. But this time, um, by that time, he had finished dental school. And so he went to Lackland Air Force Base and, mm -hmm. and was a dentist at, uh, at that Air Force um, base. But um, anyway, um, my mother is from the central part of the state, too. And, um, you know, they got married on a weekend uh, before he got shipped overseas for World War II. But he was one of those um, amazing uh, Americans and Pennsylvanians. When he came back uh, from World War II, he never talked about it. Yeah, and so many of them yeah, are like that. Yeah. yeah, and until, you know, the last years of his life. They um, saw it. They did their job. Yes. They didn't want to come back. They didn't want attention for it. They just right. wanted to resume their lives. Yeah, they just yeah. went back to work. So anyway, he was a town dentist, um, and uh, my mother was a stay-at-home mom. Uh, as as the daughter of a uh, dentist, and you know, lots of people came into my dad's office. Everybody knew him as Doc. Mm -hmm. And they'd sit in the chair and uh, you know, open their mouth for their dental work. And um, so my dad was like, so uh, have you heard anything about what our daughters are doing? And so... Uh, you know, my we could not get away with anything, anything. Yeah. But um, you know, life in a small town is is a wonderful way uh, for a child to grow up. And uh, my parents were, my mother especially, um, was uh, very interested in the arts. And she, uh, and I shouldn't, I I shouldn't say she was because my mom is uh, still in Pine Grove. Is she? Uh, yeah. She's going to celebrate her 94th birthday oh, next, my gosh, that's wonderful. next week. Wow. How long and were they married when, when your dad passed away? Oh, How long had gosh. they been married? Well, it was, think, if it, we, right when he went off to the war, it would have been Yeah, so I think they were years. very close to their 70th anniversary. Wow. My mother uh, regretted that they didn't make wow. it those last few months. Yeah. But um, she's still um, in her own home and doing well, out gardening every day and so uh, both Tom and I have really good genes, so we figure we're going we're gonna to keep working for a while.